all, um, we're going to hear this evening from our Chief Executive and Principal Stuart Rimmer, who's just going to give you a bit of an overview of what it's like to study at East Coast College. Good evening everyone, my name is Stuart Rimmer and I'm the Chief Executive and Principal here at East Coast College. I'm really pleased to welcome you to our virtual open evening this evening. Uh, hopefully through the night you'll find out why we think our college is so special and how we can support you in your next stage of learning. Now choosing the right place to study is one of the most important decisions you'll have made in your life so far so I'm really pleased you're keen to find out a little bit more about East Coast College and how we can help you achieve the skills and qualifications you need to reach that dream job. Now East Coast College is the largest Ofsted rated good provider in Great Yarmouth and Waverley with also the largest STEM provider uh, in the region and 98% of our students go on to progress into higher education and apprenticeships or employment and this year in our sixth form college at Lowestoft Sixth Form College our A-level students achieved 100% achievement rates which is amazing. Our staff are industry specialists in everything they teach and their passion shows through in our overall student success rates and the amazing achievements that our students manage to do while they're at East Coast College. Now our courses on offer is something, we've got something for everyone, regardless of stage of life or the level of learning you're at. For school leavers, we've got this extensive list of subject areas, and you can see that through our prospectus, and you'll find a little bit more about that through this evening. While you're studying with us, you'll get hands-on experience at industry by industry professionals in industry standard uh, technical spaces, and I think that's really important. So um, if you're interested in our sixth form college, we've also got a separate virtual uh, open evening with them uh, tomorrow evening so sign up to that as well if you're interested in finding out the whole range of what we offer we've also got apprenticeships on offer we work with over 800 companies every single year to deliver apprenticeship opportunities so you can earn while you learn and finally we have higher education courses with our partner the university of suffolk so we deliver degrees on your doorsteps to so degree level study here in great yarmouth and the lower Stoft. Um, from everything from business management and social science through to psychology and visual effects. Now our website has got full details of all of these so you can do research after you've seen uh, the, some of the information this evening. Our college life is really exciting here. We've got some beautiful campuses in Great Yarmouth and in Lower Stoft and we continue to invest every year. Every year we invest over a million pounds in our campuses and last year we opened a brand new 11.3 million pound energy skills centre to support our engineering uh, and uh, energy students. So why study with us? Well actually I always say you're going to get three things when you uh, come and study at East Coast College. The first is we ensure you get the skills and qualifications you need to be successful in your future career. Secondly, we're going to guarantee you a future progression. That might be to another course, it might be to higher education or university, or it could be to a job and an apprenticeship, but we'll make sure you get to where you need to go. And finally, and I think this is the most important thing, is while you're with us you're going to develop your well-being, your character, while you're at the college, you're going to become that rounded of individual you need to be to be successful in later life. It's not just about skills and qualifications, they're important, but it's about you as a person. Now, East Coast College, I'm really proud of great app student support. We look after all of our students really, really well. That might be about academic support on your course, or it could be uh, more pastoral support through our student services teams. We've got people here who are going to look after you. Now, in exchange for all this amazing stuff, what we need off you is your hard work and commitment. And if you give us that, I guarantee you'll be successful while you're at college. So hopefully this gives you a quick overview of our college and what it's like to study here. And um, you can have loads of questions about starting in September and that's absolutely great. Our team are here to help you every step of the way. So I hope you enjoy your evening. I hope you enjoy our virtual open evening and hopefully we'll see you really, really soon. Thank you. Okay, so um, that was just a little brief introduction from our Chief Executive and Principal. And now I'm going to hand over to um, our Assistant Principals, who are going to explain to you a bit more about the courses and routes that we offer here at college. So first up, I'm going to hand you over to Pam Burt. Hello. Thank you for joining us. I'd like to start with construction and building services. Um, Brickwork, carpentry, joinery and um, painting and decorating all have programmes running from level one up to level three. Level one provision, we're looking for you to have a maths and English one at 
level GCSE grade two, one at GCSE grade three. For the level two provision, we're looking at maths and English as a level four. And for the level three provisions, we're wanting you to have completed one of the level two qualifications to give you the grounding and where we started. For electrical installation, plumbing and heating programmes, they're beginning at level two, so they require GCSE grade four. Now, electrical and plumbing, brickwork and carpentry are on both campuses, both Great Yarmouth and Lowestoft. Painting and decorating at the moment is only offered at Lowestoft. All the programmes focus on the knowledge and skills behaviour that young people are going to need to gain the practical skills required in the trade that they choose, to develop the, a thorough understanding of the trade that they're working towards, and to develop employability skills to support them in their progression. Towards the end of the pro these programmes, there's the opportunity to study for the driving theory test and to study in the construction trades for the CSCS test, which, will, um, which is needed to gain employment. Most of the students completing programmes will progress either to the next level within these trades or to employment or to an apprenticeship. And the department works very closely with employers such as Persimmon, Carter, Gastway, Ayers and Norse and Dodds. And students have undertaken some pro exciting community projects which have included um, rebuilding a shelter in a park um, and making a pizza oven on the beach. So I'd like now to talk about engineering, welding, fabrication and motor automotive. Engineering and energy programmes, these begin at, at level three and therefore require grade four at GCSEs. And these programmes have moved away from a level um, model and more into a, a year one, year two, year three model. So year one providing the foundations, year two enabling young people um, to move into employment or to an apprenticeship and you're free focusing on those students that would like to move into HE. In the engineering and energy um, department there's the opportunity to move to complete or to participate in the Duke of Edinburgh. The automotive department also follows a three-year model with students in year one at the end of year one choosing a specialism, a specialism in either working towards working in an independent garage or a main dealer route and that's the route that you would that, that's what you would study in year two with year three again aimed at those students wanting to go into higher education welding and fabrication programs for these we require grade three in english and maths and learners within welding and fabrication are able to move into apprenticeships and employment from year, at the end of year two they also get the opportunity to complete short industry focused courses to support that um, progression and these include working at heights, um, working in confined spaces, abrasive wheel training, the engineering, welding, automotive and energy um, department works closely and students have progressed onto apprenticeships with employers such as John Gross, Mitchells, ProServe, RPC, m &H Plastics, Siemens Renewables, Scottish Power and Birdseye. Now I'd like to move to Foundation. And Foundation supports students who have learning disabilities and difficulties and their programmes, study programmes range from entry one to level one and the aim is to support these learners to progress either into the wider college, to support it internships, to volunteering opportunities and to increase independence all the programmes have elements of maths and English and some learners will achieve functional skills maths and English while studying their programmes. A supported, the supported internship that we offer at the moment is called Project Search and this is aimed at learners at entry level who have education and healthcare plans. Project Search is based at the James Paget Hospital, not within college, although it is a college study programme. And students who are following that programme are expected to gain employment towards the end and at the end of that programme. Foundation as well is involved with lots of community projects and they've worked with organisations such as 100 River Farm, Great Yarmouth Railway Station, the Wind Energy Museum, Tide and Tide Museum, the Venetian Waterways, Haven and local community centres. Now we're going to hear from some of our current students to find out why they love studying at East Coast College.
Uh, I'm Louisa Smith and I'm a student at East Coast College. Hi, I'm Lewis Harbord. I'm an 11-3 media student studying at East Coast College. Hi, my name is Jack Milton and I'm taking a level 3 creative media course at East Coast College. I chose to study at East Coast College because it was in the area that I live in, so that was good for me, as well as I got recommended to it uh, by my high school. I chose East Coast College because they had the course that I wanted to do when I left school. Um, I just chose East Coast College because it was quite an approachable college and it was quite relaxed and laid back. Um, I had a few friends um, which attended this college anyway. The course has been good so far. As I have found out, it's stressful at some times, but after a while you get used to it and it's quite relaxing once you get used to it. Uh, I really enjoyed the course. I'd done level two last year and now progressing on a level three year one. So you're eased into the course, the tutors are really easy to get along with and um, it's been good so far. The best thing I would say is, although there's restrictions, there it is quite open and free to do, so you can do some at home or some at college and there's also really nice people to talk to and they can help you if you need it. I think the best thing about the college is uh, the staff and the students because if you like when you first come up to the college I think that they really welcome you into your course and whatever you're doing and really go into detail and explain what you're going to be doing throughout the year. Personally the wellbeing team as they support students around mental health and lots of other issues very well and they link up really well with your course leaders and your tutors. Um, it's just one big team at East Coast College and, and I, I like that. The advice I would give if you're thinking of applying is to look around at all of the different courses as there's a lot to choose from and make sure that the course you choose is something you would enjoy doing and put hard work and effort into it. I think if someone was applying to East Coast College I think they do something that they want to do you know if, if they leave college something they want to progress on really so I would just say go ahead, just go all in, apply, it's like I've mentioned before, it's a relaxed process, um, the interviews are very um, informal to a certain degree, um, you know, there's, there's no pressure involved and you never know until you try. My plan, I'm not too sure about my plan at the moment, but I would like to get a job within the same area, so within like computers or media area. Uh, I'd like to try and get an apprenticeship, hopefully with this with this course, maybe when I finish, you know, whatever, level two or level three, you know, I'd like to get an apprenticeship with this course in maybe some kind of media industry, editing or, you know, a camera op or something like that, really. Um, I'm aspiring to be a, uh, do a computer science degree, preferably probably at the UEA or Warwick, um, and this course will hopefully link up quite nicely onto that, which will show my creative side within the technology industry. Hello, my name's Holly Chase and I'm one of the assistant principals here at East Coast College and I'm just going to very briefly talk you through some of the areas that I look after. So we'll start with um, the beauty, therapy and hairdressing uh, industry. Um, so what's really exciting about these courses is that we provide a real work environment here for you in our salons, our purpose-built salons, and we have, you know, real paying uh, clients who come through the doors so that, so that enables you to learn these skills with the with your tutor carefully looking out for you and and helping you as you as you complete these practicals um, our level two beauty course uh, gives you the skills that you need to go straight into employment or you could come on to a level three course and you can learn uh, you know, develop some further skills in like hot stone therapy and um, um, Indian head massage, for example. And, and these courses are offered at both our Yarmouth campus and our lower staff. And it enables you to sort of, you know, go straight out and get a job in the UK or, or abroad even. And what we ask from you is that, you know, you have a professional appearance, um, that you're friendly and that you're developing some excellent communication skills. 
So we also have our media makeup course where we have a newly refurbished salon, which is quite exciting at our lowest off campus. And this caters for both level two and three. And it, it sort of develops your skills and knowledge in fashion and photography and body art. So it's, it's quite an exciting and very well sought after course. Then we have our hairdressing. Again, that's offered across both sites from level one to, to level three. Again, we have um, our own salons where we have um, our clients that come in, our regulars, and um, you know, so you can practice those skills under the watchful eye of your tutor. Um, so you'll develop sort of creative cut skills, um, color and correction services. Uh, and again, you know, we just we just want the 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 professional appearance, the friendliness, and those communication skills, which will help you to develop while you're on the course. And then continuing on in our service industry, we have hospitality and catering. Again, that's offered across both campuses from level one to three. Um, we have our own kitchen, so we have our paying clients that come in there. We also try to get our students out so they can experience a wide range of uh, employment opportunities. And they get the opportunity to work in the kitchen as well as front of house to see how fast paced this environment can actually be. Um, then we have our travel and tourism, which caters for students who'd like to come on to level two air cabin crew, where we have the teacher that runs that is an industry expert. Um, and then we have our level three travel and tourism. Now you might think that that's sort of a, a funny course to come on at the moment, but in actual fact, now is the time because the, the industry is changing and we're talking about UK holidays now and, and you know staycations and and you know it, it's it's developing in a different way. Um, yes, yeah, so the next the next uh, course I'd like to talk to you about is childcare and education. So again, that's offered across both of our campuses uh, from level one to level three. Um, and and as Stuart, um, our principal, mentioned in the beginning, we do have. Uh, degrees that these feed into as well so you can you can study while you're earning money at home so the the nice thing about the childcare course is the extensive amount of um, hours that you get to do in nurseries and schools and hospitals and children's centers um, and, and special needs schools so it's it's you know quite an exciting opportunity to um, learn a wide range of skills out out in the industry um, and then we have our uniform public services. Uh, at the moment, that's only being offered at Lowestoft. Um, and we have a level two and a level three. Um, our level three is particularly good for those students who want to go into statutory UK public services. Um, so it, it gives you, it gives you, um, it gives you uh, opportunities to study theory as well as you know it encompasses fitness and, and all the things that you need to to work in the public sector um, and then we have our creative uh, area so you saw some of our students there on that that lovely video so this, this area is for students who want to study art media photography uh, textiles they run across both campuses, apart from performing arts, which is at our Great Yarmouth campus. We also have a new course this year, which is um, uh, digital design, which again was very well sought after. And the courses that we offer in this area can lead into career opportunities, such as being an architect, journalist, uh, fashion designer, photographer, and, and so much more, mobile app developer, things that you might not think would exist coming from, from studying in the creative industry. And the next course um, that we're going to look at is animal care. So that, that at the moment is offered at um, our Yarmouth campus, and we have levels one, two, and three. Um, and, you know, again, these levels depend on, on GCSE results, but also lots of other, other skills that you may have acquired so far in your life. Um, so with, with, we, we have a small amount of animals on site. And because of that, this course requires our tutors to take our students to, uh, on lots of trips, really, to, to see the bigger animals. And, you know, so we go to the zoo and to sanctuaries. Um, uh, 
and you know there's there's lots of trips on this um also the students get to experience a, a huge range of placement opportunities here as well so we have our students that go into dog groomers or catteries or trusts and charities char charities and um zoos so we work with Africa Alive um, and also our students go into specialist industries. So working with aquatics and exotics. So we, we have our degree here that our students tend to stay with us after they finish level three and come straight on to our degree, which does include a trip to Africa actually on a conservation, um, two week conservation trip, very exciting. And then we have our health and social care course and we do run that across both campuses as well. That's from level one to level three. And again, there's that opportunity to go and get that experience, which we help to find for you in a wide range of placements. So we work with the James Paget Academy um, and our students get to go there and experience what life is like on several different wards to gain, you know, the experience and help inform future decisions. Um, so the, the theory that they learn in the class, they can put out to practice in a real work environment. And then we have um, sport and physical activity. And at the moment, this is being offered at Lowestoft campus. Um, so we, we offer that from level one to level three. Um, so there's lots of practical lessons um, and uh, leading sport activities um, in the level three, which is quite exciting. That course also includes the fitness program and instruction. So it's, it's, it's um, very, that is very valuable in industry. So sorry, that was just a quick whiz through. And if you have any questions, do please ask them on the Q&A at the bottom of your screen and, and uh, we'll do our best to answer them. So I'd now like to introduce you to um, uh, my fellow colleague, Assistant Principal, Kerry Payne. Thank you, Holly. Hello, everybody. So I'm gonna quickly whiz you through a few of our departments, which include ESOL and our maritime courses. So firstly, if I start with ESOL, ESOL encompasses courses for English speakers of other languages and our ESOL programs are available at both campuses. We do offer a full time course for 16 to 19 year olds uh, when your first language is not English and you can improve and develop your English language skills, uh, which will help you take part in um, life activities within the UK but also with the ultimate progression goal of moving on to one of our exciting vocational courses as described to you by Pam and Holly, or potentially to support you into employment. You will also be supported to undertake a maths qualification with your English language development. And a, a new opportunity from this year onwards will be to undertake a digital skills for work programme also if that's of interest to you. Your learning is supported by um, wider projects with your tutors, which will help raise confidence in your English speaking ability and the development of many, many useful employability skills overall to support your progression. Next, we have our Maritime Debt Cadet programme. This is a new and exciting programme that we have on um, offer from next year, which is available at our Lowestoft campus. This is a very unique programme that we've developed to meet the Maritime and Coast Guard agency requirements to ensure that any successful students on the programme will become fully qualified as officers of the watch. That means that you can work on any merchant Navy ship around the world. So you'll start with us at level three, but you'll progress all the way through to level four with a higher national certificate in nautical science. And this will um, encompass three years with us. You'll also undertake training um, in safety courses and other relevant short courses um, alongside completing a training record book as part of your seed time on this programme. The cadet programme is split into five stages. Three of those will be on shore with us at the college and two of those will be at sea and your at sea time will be with your chosen company. So while you're onshore, you'll study with us in our new Energy Skills Centre, where you'll have access to state-of-the-art um, ship simulators. And, and your periods of time at sea will be with your chosen company, and you'll complete the elements of your um, onboard training with that company. This is a fully funded programme, 
Um, so your company will um, support you with all of your course fees and you'll also receive a wage from your company um, during the programme. So if you're interested in the Merchant Navy and with the potential to travel the world, the Cadet Mode programme may be for you. So thank you for listening. Um, I'd now like to hand over to my fellow assistant principal, Rachel Bunn. Thanks, Kerry. Uh, welcome, everybody. So um, I'm the assistant principal for employer engagement and apprenticeships at East Coast College. Um, at the moment, we have a wide range of apprenticeships that are active. Um, and I'd just like to reassure everybody that the current situation with COVID that we find ourselves in has not had an impact on our apprenticeship delivery. And we actually are constantly engaging with new employers to support new opportunities for apprentices which is really positive um, in these current times. So apprenticeship offer at East Coast College um, is on both campuses at Lowestoft and Yarmouth for the majority of subjects. We offer apprenticeships ranging from level two, three, all the way through to higher apprenticeships. Um, we're very proud of the relationship we have with our employers. And um, we currently work with around 800 employers in region, in core areas such as business, hospitality, engineering and construction, education and childcare, the service industries of hair and beauty, and also some more bespoke offer around science, boat building, and some new offer around welding. Um, what is very important in terms of the area to consider is obviously the growth um, of new projects within the region that are coming up. So we are looking at a new third crossing for Lower Stoughton Yarmouth fingers crossed and also as well the possibility of size we'll see so if you look at the size we'll see for example they are talking around a thousand apprentices on site once they're up and running in terms of construction um, and East Coast College will be gladly supporting them and people within the region to develop those skills Um, so if you've got any queries about becoming an apprentice, always the team is there to help. And you can see on the screen that there's an email address, um, apprenticeships at eastcoast.ac.uk, where you can register your interest. The team will always work proactively with anyone who is interested in an apprenticeship. And we can also do matching and work trials with interested employers. You can also register on Find an Apprenticeship website which is a government website that will actually send you notifications of any new opportunities. Um, what we also suggest as well for school leavers is contact local employers, really promote yourselves in terms of work experience in the holidays or in the summer, because that is a great way of actually showing the employer your commitment and your skills. But please do not hesitate as to contact about any apprenticeship vacancies and we look forward to seeing you soon. I'd now like you to pass over to my colleague, Assistant Principal, Nikki Lane. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, good evening, everybody. Now you've heard a little bit about the different course options that are available to you, um, I'm going to talk through um, student services and the support that's on offer for you uh, whilst you're at college. And you've heard a little bit about, um, about support from our students earlier on when they were talking. Um, and really it's about, it's, it's totally important to us to support you all the way through your um, college journey. So from this point now, when we're starting to talk to you about the options that you've got all the way through your college journey with us to the point where you leave us and you go on to um, university or an apprenticeship or employment and those positive next steps for you. So I'm going to run through now actually some of the ways that you can um, access that support. Um, so first of all with applications, so you're probably just at that stage now where you're thinking about um, what you might want to apply for and kind of getting into the application stage. So we can support you with the application itself or answer any questions about college before you uh, commit to the course that, that you would like to do and find out if we're the right place for you to, to come and study. If you have a special educational need um, or disability, we have a dedica dedicated team um, to support you um, through your college journey. We can look, look after you before you start college, help you with that transition, and then support you whilst you're with us to do the best that you can. 
We have a career teams that are here to give you advice and guidance on what your next steps might be or find the career that's right for you. But in, in addition to our um, careers team, actually our, our teachers and the wider college, as we said earlier, they're industry experts. And as part of your course, you're learning about what the different careers options might be for you, how you take those next steps onto that pathway um, and getting involved in work related experiences. So whether that's going out to work experience, doing virtual work experience, um, having employers actually talk to you online, um, just getting involved and, and, and building your skills. That's the, the main thing that we really want to support you with on, on your career journey. With our wellbeing and safeguarding team, we've been commended um, by the Association of Colleges two years in a row now um, for our support and approach to mental health for our students. And it's really important to us to actually find out about you as an individual, the, the independent needs that you, uh, you have and that we can support you with, so we can look after you while you're at college and kind of set you on the right path um, for your next step. We have a student finance team who can support you um, with financial needs. If we move on to our next slide, there's just um, a little bit more detail about that. So our student finance team can help you look at your travel options and to help you pay for, um, for your um, travel support to get to college. We have a discretionary learner support fund and that can help you pay for a number of things whilst you're at college, including free college meals, uh, we have a 16 to 19 vulnerable student bursary, care to learn for, um, for students who have childcare responsibilities, and a support fund for 20 year old and plus learners. For our 19 plus learners, we have an advanced learner support loan um, for those who are studying level three and above. And the important thing is that actually you can get in touch with us and find out about your um, individual needs. To apply for student finance, you can get at the bottom of the screen, you can just see the student finance email um, and you can get in touch with us from this point onwards and start asking questions to make sure that you're ready and kind of set up to make your decisions to come to college. If you want to find out more about the Care to Learn Childcare funding or the Advanced Loan Alone, um, it's available on screen that you can go away and do some research there. Or as I say, get in touch with us and we can help answer your questions in advance of coming to college. At college, we've recently filmed virtual tours. Um, we will have opportunities for, um, for you to come and have a look around the campuses. Um, but in advance of doing that, or if you can't make that, actually, you can have a look at one of these tours. So you go onto our website, um, into our college life, and choose tours. And you'll see the, the different campus pictures come up on screen. And you can pick the one that you would like to have a look at. You can look at all three. It's completely up to you. And the yellow dots are different areas of our, of our campus. And you can find out where they are um, on screen and you click into it to take you to that place on the campus. So we're just about to go into student services on the Great Yarmouth campus. So as you can see on the screen, um, you click on the circles and it takes you through the building. The little green dots then tell you where you are. So you can navigate your way around the area that you're interested in. As you're going through the, uh, the learning street here at our Great Yarmouth campus, you, you can see some examples of our classrooms, how we like to display the artwork that our students have created. And that's a really nice space for our students to learn and get involved in. Okay, so we're gonna um, move now to our Lowestoft campus. Sorry, we're still with Great Yarmouth at the moment. So this is an example of our um, engineering room. So we've talked about industry expertise and about giving you the opportunity to actually, when you come to college, get ready for industry um, and working in the environment that you would be in and the tools that you would be working. This is a really good example of that and how you can move around a room in a 360 degree tour. So we are now moving to the Lower South Campus and we're going into the right Horizon building. So we've heard about our hair and beauty courses. So we're going through into the reception area there for hair and beauty. And then we're just going to nip into the salon here so you can see where we talked about we have paying clients come in um, to work with our students. This is an example of, of where students will be working with those clients. So they're building the skills um, that they need to work in industry. 
you can spend as much time as you like uh, looking through the virtual tours. And if you come and visit us and you want to go back and have a look at some areas, um, as I say, it's always available on, on our website. Okay, so we are open on um, in Lowestoft on Saturday the 10th of October and in Great Yarmouth on Saturday the 17th between 10 and 1. If you go onto our website, you're able to click and book a time. Um, we'll be able to um, talk you through the different courses available in a little bit more detail and you can ask any questions that might come up between now and then. Um, I'm going to hand back over to Amy at this point so we can start asking, answering some of your questions. Thank you. Great, thank you, um, Nikki. Just before we do move on to questions, um, just one more slide we wanted to share with you, which is how to apply. So um, obviously we know that you're all starting to think about uh, your choices for next September and the courses that you, you'd like to study. And obviously this event and our open days are great for you being able to find out a bit more about those courses and ask any questions you have. And um, obviously when it comes to applying, you can do all of this on our website and it's really easy to do. Um, if you visit our website with the address that's on the screen and you click apply online, a application form will come up and then you can just work your way through it, fill out all the bits. Some of the stuff is sort of auto filled for you. So the course that you've chosen and the duration, the campus, that kind of thing. Um, and you can just work your way through, pop all the information in and then that goes through to our um, applications team who can then uh, get in touch with you and arrange a, a, an informal interview so that you can uh, have a chat with the team and they can uh, provide you with any other guidance or careers advice that you might need and help you with those next steps to get you all set up for September. So that is all live on our website now. So if you're ready and you're in a position to apply now, that's absolutely great and, and you can do that. Um, if you need a bit longer, that's fine too, but the website will be there um, and it's really easy and simple to do. So yes, now we're gonna move on to questions. So we've had some um, already come through, which is great. Um, if you've got any extras, anything else that's popped um, into mind, then feel free to pop those into the question answer box now and we will start working our way through. So let's have a look. Okay, so um, the first question we've been asked is, is actually a question about our A-levels um, and, and I can just sort of jump in and answer this one. So somebody's asked whether we do film studies as an A-level and um, the answer is yes, we do. Um, so tonight our event is for East Coast College where we offer the vocational courses, the apprenticeships, um, and then tomorrow evening, we've got our virtual open event for Lowest of Sixth Form College. And this is where we offer our A-level courses and some other B-Tech and C-Tech courses as well. And yes, we are doing film studies as an A-level um, next year uh, for a 2021 start. So um, if you're interested in that, then please jump on to tomorrow night's um, virtual session and you'll hear more about that then. Um, or if not, come along to our Open Campus event on the 10th, that covers the sixth form as well as the East Coast College Lowestoft Campus, and you'll be able to speak to the tutor then and find out more about that. So that's the um, Film Studies A-level. Um, someone else has asked a question, do you have to book a time spot for the Open Day on the 17th? My daughter is interested in hairdressing. Again, this is probably another one I can answer. So um, yes, we are asking people to book a time slot. Obviously with um, the sort of COVID restrictions in place at the moment, we're very mindful that we want to invite you all into site, um, but we want to make sure that everyone keeps safe and distance and, and can look around the college safely. So by booking a time slot, this allows us to kind of um, split out everybody so we don't have everybody all arriving at once and make sure that you can safely look around the college. Um, and yes, our hairdressing, um, tutors will be around so you can come in and you can visit the salon and we will have one of our teachers there as well who you can ask any questions to and they can show you around um, further. So if you go to our East Coast College website and um, go on the open campus events and then if you scroll down you'll see all the times listed for uh, the Great Yarmouth event and then you can choose one and book on there. So that's um, that one. Um, Okay, so a question here for Holly. So um, somebody's asked us, can you please tell me how much of the level three childcare course is classroom based? Yes, so, I Holly, can. Thank you. 
sorry, Amy. Yeah, so three, three days in the classroom and two days out at placement. Okay, brilliant, thank you. Another one for you here, Holly, before you uh, go. Um, what GCSE grades do you need for hairdressing? All levels they've asked for. What GCSE grades? Yeah. So at level three, we're looking for fours. And at level two, we're looking for threes. Um, level level one, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll talk to you. you know, it's, it's more than just about the GCSE grades um, as well, because as well as the GCSE grades, we're looking for certain skills, um, which we'll talk to you with you um, when you have your interview with us or when you come for the, for the open day. Yeah, great, thank you. So yeah, I think what, what, what we say with a lot of our courses is obviously there's grades that um, you know, are desired and we want people to achieve, but if you haven't quite got them yet, don't be put off from applying. Make sure you still um, get in touch with us and speak to us um, and we will look at, look at everything for you and see what we can do to help. So don't be afraid to still get in touch. Um, okay, so... Um, Okay, so somebody has asked, um, I live in Norwich and I'd really like to join this college as I think it will be the best fit for me, but my only issue is traveling to the college. How would I do this? Uh, Nikki, are you able to help with that? Um, yes, the best thing to do is probably speak to our student finance team and you can find out um, about support to travel and financial support to, to get to college. Um, so there are, there's a bus route and a train route into, um, into Great Yarmouth. Um, and similar for Lowestoft and um, so there are options there we do have students traveling from um, from Norwich um, so I'd say either, either get in touch with student finance or you can come directly to me through here to help at eastcoast.ac.uk and I'll, um, I'll, I'll support you to find the information you need. Brilliant thank you um, Nikki. Um, Holly another one for you here um, do you get to choose your own placement on childcare? So what we do is we work with you on an individual basis and we, we get your first, second and third choice of where you might like to go. And then we take care of it all for you and get it all organized. But we try to accommodate you, you know, where you'd like to go, around where you live, make sure it's convenient. But at the same time, we want you to get the wide range of age, age ranges so you can make an informed choice when you go on to uni or, or employment. Great, thank you. Um, another travel question here. Somebody's asked, is there a bus that travels through Loddon to the Great Yarmouth campus? Is anyone aware of that one? Uh, we need to look at the, that individually. Um, so I think uh, the best thing to do is actually to get in touch with an individual. As I say, come to here to help at eastcoast.ac.uk. Um, I'm on the end of that email address. Um, so I can find out exactly kind of what you're interested in, where you, uh, where you need to get to, and we can kind of work back from there on how you could get to us. Great, thank you. Um, question here, uh, somebody who's interested in animal care, um, and they're interested in progressing with us as well, and potentially staying on and, and doing the degree with us as well, which is fantastic, um, and obviously quite excited about the Africa trip. Um, and they're wondering whether with that degree course, is there a cost for doing the um, trip to Africa or and, and how does that kind of work? Um, well, there, there is a cost, but the college helps out. So it's, it's, um, it's a combined effort here. So we, we try to subsidize it as much as possible to make it affordable for everybody to take part in that trip. Yeah. And we have a payment plan as well. Uh, Carrie, I don't know if you want to add anything more onto that. No, I think that makes sense, Holly. I think what we've traditionally done in the past is covered the cost from a college perspective on everything that happens in Africa. And we usually ask students to contribute mainly to the travel cost, to, so to the flight cost. Great, thank you. Thanks for that. Um, okay, let's have a look at this one. Uh, so somebody's wondering about the art course um, and has been told that ideally they should have a GCSE in art. But previously, it wasn't really something they were interested in, and it's just been during lockdown that they found it as a hobby. Um, so they sort of haven't done anything in it before. Do you think they would still um, be able to get onto the course? Yes, yes, I do. So what we sometimes do in that situation is we set a summer project 
up for the student to go away and do and then come back and and show what they've done and that that helps determine that's their skills are very important um so it's not necessarily whether you get the gcse in art um so the answer is yes great thank you um someone has asked when do i need to apply by have we got um a, a, an ideal deadline for that nikki um, yep, yeah, so you can um, start applying from now. Uh, the website is open for applications and you can apply all the way through um, until um, we start next September. Um, ideally, the best thing to do is to kind of get your application in as early as you can. So you can be quite relaxed about um, attending your interviews and, and have prep time for that. If you change your mind in the year um, because you've done some more research into your career ideas, or, um, then you, you can change through the year. We can support you in doing that. Uh, we do have students um, applying later on because they might change their mind once they start another college and, and choose a different route. Um, and again, that's OK. We, we, we keep our doors open for, for several weeks to allow um, students to, to switch courses. Um, so you, you have got plenty of time um, for next year's entry from, for now. Great, thank you. Um, question for you here, Kerry. Um, on the Maritime Debt Cadet Programme, do you need to find an employer yourself or do you get issued an employer for the duration of the course when you sign up? Okay, that's a good question. So actually we work with a, a number of employers and the student certainly has their choice. Yeah, it will really depend on whether you want to work on oil tankers, cruise ships or any other type of ship. So really it would be depending on your particular interest and then we would be linking the company up to, to suit that interest. Great, thank you. Um, Nikki, um, one for you here around uh, uh, school meals. Um, somebody says that they currently get free school meals um, at high school. Does this mean they'll still be eligible when they come to us at college? Yes, it very likely does mean that. Um, so you apply um, through a portal next year and if you, if you apply for the course, we give you all the information you need then to, to apply for the bursary and the student finance team um, help you through that and give you all the information you need. Um, and when you, when you um, get given your bursary, you have it on your student card so you can pay with that when you're in, um, in our eating areas. So it's quite discreet um, and it just gets topped up for you. Great, thank you. Um, we've sort of touched on this one, but somebody's asked, how far can I go with animal care courses within the college? Sorry about that, Amy. Yes. Yeah, so um, how, what was the question? How far can you go? Yeah, how far can they go if they study animal care with us at the college? How, how much can they sort of progress with us with that course? Um, I'm assuming that question is about can they go into higher education and study a degree with us? Yeah, I think so, which is what we sort of touched on. But I don't know if you can just take us through the kind of the kind of different ways that they can progress that we've got the levels for. Yeah, so we, we have um, level one um, and, and we go up to level uh, five at the moment. So we have our foundation deg uh, degree, which I just briefly touched upon, um, wh which is offered here so you can study and, and earn money perhaps in the sector at the same time. So, you know, you just, you, you would work your way through the level. Some people might come in at level one, some people might come in at level three it doesn't matter and you build on the knowledge and the skills that you need to take you to the next level. I hope that helps. Yeah, perfect, thank you. Um, a question here about our open events coming up and I think I can answer this one. Somebody's asked, will there be tutors available to talk through the courses and will we be able to see your facilities? And the answer is yes and yes. So the whole idea is that um, you will get the chance to come in and see our campuses. You'll be given a map so you can uh, wander around, you can you'll see where the different areas are. There'll be um, tutors based at all of our areas. So if you're particularly interested in a, a subject area, you can, you can go straight there. You can see who um, your tutor might be. You can have a chat with them, to get a feel for the course. And then they can show you um, some of the equipment, the facilities you'll be using, um, the classes you'll be learning, classroom space you'll be learning and that kind of thing. So you can get a really good feel for the courses that you're interested in. Um, if you're not sure what you're interested in, that's completely fine as well. You can walk around the whole campus. Um, you can either do this um, on your own with your family, or you can um, ask a member of staff to take you around. Um, and so you can have a really good look around, um, see if there's anything that maybe takes 
take crap catches your mind and you think might be something you'd like to pursue and as I said we will have tutors at every area so if you've got any questions they will be there and they really ask the best people to answer your questions because these are the courses that they teach day in day out so um, they will be able to help you with everything so hopefully that answered um somebody's asked here uh, do we do any courses that would lead to physiotherapy who can help with that one Okay, so I'll, I'll take this one then. Um, so probably our sports course or one of our health courses would would um, help lead into that route. Obviously with physiotherapy, you do have to go to university uh, to, to qualify in that. But I, I, I think Kerry, you might want to jump in if, 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 if you think uh, differently, but I, I think sport or, or health would be the, the route. Yeah, I would, I would definitely agree with you there, Holly. I'd, I'd probably also just mention, just in case you're a student who's asking this question who's um, maybe 18 or 19, we do also have access to higher education programmes, such as our access in life science and our access in science and health. And both of these programmes have been very successful in getting students onto physiotherapy. Great, thank you. Um, we've had a couple more um, questions about A-level and A-level courses. Um, as I said before, this, um, this evening's session is all around our East Coast College courses. Um, our A-level courses are offered over at local sixth form college. Um, so, and that information evening is tomorrow evening. So um, someone's asked if we do an A-level music course. Yes, we do. And um, as I said, that information is all going to be shared tomorrow evening. If you can't make it in the same way that we're doing this evening, we're recording the session. So you can um, watch it back at another time um, or you can get in touch with us directly if you've got any particular questions. Um, or again, come to our open day on the 10th at our Lowest Cross campus. You can look around the Lowest Cross sixth form building and all the information about A-levels, the requirements, what courses we do, you can find all of that out there as well. So I hope that helps. Um, Rachel, we've got a question here about apprenticeship. Um, somebody has asked, what companies do we work with for business apprenticeship? I think Rachel might be uh, um, having a bit of a problem with her connection. I think she might have um, dropped out. I can say from, um, from my point of view for construction and engineering, we work with a variety in the local area. Um, I mentioned a few earlier on, Bird's Eye, John Gross, Scottish Power, SSE Renewables, Siemens Renewables, Persimmon, Carter, Gasway, um, and I think a lot of um, smaller local employers as well. Um, those are the types of um, employers that we would deal with within construction engineering. Um, uh, some of the others, I'm not too sure about. <laughs> Thank you, yeah, sorry, I think we seem to have lost Rachel who leads up our apprenticeships. But um, as she said, the email um, address that she put on screen earlier, apprenticeships at eastcoast.ac.uk. If you've got any apprenticeship questions, do send them through to there and someone will get back to you as soon as possible and help you with that. Um, okay, right, a couple more questions. Um, does public, uh, Uniform Public Services Level 3 uh, help you to apply for uh, service uh, roles like the police force? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, that is, that is part of our role here at East Coast College to make sure we support you to get you know to get you to where you want to go and helping you to apply is absolutely something that we um, we support you with. Great, thank you. And Kerry, another uh, question here about our Debt Cadet programme. Um, somebody would like to know what, what are the entry requirements for that? What um, grades will they need to be able to do that for? Okay, so we would be looking for students who are holding a C grade or a, or a grade four um, in four GCSEs. That would need to include English, maths and at least one science. However, if you have any concerns about not being able to achieve that level, please do still get in touch because we may be able to support you to achieve that level and then for you to enter our Debt Cadet programme. Perfect, thank you. Um, somebody's asked, um, they're, they're unsure what grades they'll get, so is it best for them to apply for level one of our courses or, or what, what level should they be applying for if they're not sure on their grades? I 
I would, um, in my opinion, I would dis I would suggest that they decide on the subject area that they would like to study and then talk to the teams um, within that uh, within that area. Um, they can then advise where they think will be best because a level one isn't necessarily the best for for that individual. And I think Holly alluded earlier, or Holly said earlier on, that sometimes you know it's about the whole person, it's about the whole experience that that person has had, work them have work experience. So I think it's best to decide on the subject area or the department that you'd like to study, and then um, come and talk to the teams within those areas. Great, thank you. Um, somebody has asked, I'm looking for more work-related experience in childcare. Does the sixth form offer this or is it better to do this at East Coast College? Okay, so um, coming to East Coast College to study childcare gives you maximum opportunities to experience well, if you if you were to come on to a level three, we'd expect over two years for you to do 800 hours in in the sector. So it's it's a massive opportunity to experience the the sector fully. I hope yeah. that helps. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. Uh, another question about open days. Somebody's asked, can my parents come with me? Yes, of course they can. Um, we obviously with. Um, the rules that are around at the moment about six people being in a group we we've, we've put the maximum of tickets you can book at six um if you if you would like to come with both your parents that is completely fine um obviously you know ideally it would be it would be best if you could come with the least amount of people as possible just so that we don't have too many people on the campus but of course we understand that you will want to bring your parents along with you and have some have them there to sort of feel, get a feel for the place as well and, and give you the support. So yeah, please do book and, and bring your parents along too. That's no problem at all. Um, okay, uh, Nikki, we've had a question, which I, I think you sort of covered, but I don't know if you could really um, re-explain it again. So um, how, how does somebody fund their travel? Um, if they're coming from somewhere a bit further away from college, are they able to get help from the college with funding that travel? Um, yes, yeah, so we um, we work alongside Norfolk and Suffolk County Councils and um, have a look at actually what travel options are available. So if a bus pass uh, um, is the best thing longer term or short term bus passes, sometimes are a bit cheaper. Um, so what our student finance team can do is have a look at where you live, how um, how you what course you're on, um, so how you're going to need to travel, and then come advise you on looking for the the best option for you financially and the different ways that you can pay for that. Um, and so it depends on individual circumstances. Um, so the best thing to do is to, is to get in touch. But we support hundreds of students every year with with their travel. Um, so it's something that we is, is an everyday thing for us to do. So I'm sure we can help you. Yeah, of course, thank you. Um, Holly, another um, uniform public services question. Um, do you choose what service you study? As in, can you specialise in a in a sort of particular public service, or on the course, do you as a whole, um, you know, st study a range of, of services and, and techniques and skills and that kind of thing? Yes, you study a range. Um, you can. As you progress on to level three and within level three, you can um, focus, have a, have a focus on, on the um, service that you're most interested in. I would recommend that you, you make an appointment to come in and have an interview with our, our uniform public services team. So you can really, I can see that you're, you're quite interested in maybe the police from what I gather. So um, it's probably a good idea to come in and have the, that early interview. And, and talk so you, you feel settled and know what you're doing. Yeah, great. Thanks, Polly. Um, somebody's asked, do I have to choose a second choice as I only want to do one course and I know what I want to do? I think this is probably, obviously on the application form, it asks for um, a couple of other choices. Um, Nikki, can you, you help yeah. with this one? Yeah, I think if, you, if you've done your research, you know what you want to do, then you can absolutely um, only apply for one course. That's fine. Um, if you get six months down the line and you decide that actually there is something kind of creeping in that you'd like to talk about and have an interview for, then equally that's fine. You don't have to have a second choice. It's, it's not mandatory. Great. Thank you. Um, we've just got a few more questions to ask here. So hopefully we'll, we'll get through all of these for everyone. Um, uh, Holly, a question here for you around our hair and beauty courses. Um, do you have a set 
uniform you have to wear when um, studying those courses? Yes, so we do have uniforms in hair and beauty. Um, what we, we've done something a little bit different this year with our level three students, we're allowing them to choose their uniform so um, they can choose a theme. So whether it's a color theme, um, so, so it's not one that we buy in. So it's the first time we've done this, but we're, we're trying to emulate what it's really like in a salon. And beauty therapists do tend to wear uniforms, but hairdressers not so much. So we're, we're just trying to emulate that. Okay, thank you. Um, question here, what is the maximum number of students per class? Um, I'm not sure who, who, who's best place to answer this one or, or what we kind of set that as really, but um, is anyone able to help? I, I think probably the best thing to do for that is actually um, to get in touch because uh, it depends on what you're, you're studying. So for example, if you're in a salon or if you're in a workshop, actually the, the, the class numbers are, um, are fixed by the number of bays, for example, or chairs that you, you'll be able to use. Um, but a classroom might be in a, a slightly different situation. So I think um, perhaps get in touch and talk to us about what you're interested in. And then we can give you an idea about the kind of classroom you'd be in, or perhaps you could come and have a look um, and see what, what it looks like um, to, to kind of get a better idea, maybe put any fears um, at rest if you're concerned about that. Great, thank you. Um, Pam, uh, an engineering question. Um, what are the entry requirements? I think you did touch on this, but are you able just to go over those again? Have we, have we still got Pam? <laughs> Pam, you, you need to unmute. <laughs> I couldn't unmute it, I do oh. apologize. <laughs> okay, for, so for those at East Coast, we're looking for um, young people to have grade four in English, maths and science as a, a double um, award as a minimum. So it's uh, for engineering, it's uh, yeah, grade four we're looking for. Okay, yeah, thank you. Um, oh, sorry, I've got to jump slide. Um, someone's having trouble finding how to book a slot for the open day in Great Yarmouth, can I help? Yes, I can. I'm now gonna do it, um, as I say, it just to, to help so you can follow the steps. So if you go to our website, eastcoast.ac.uk, and then if you click on the event enrol enrollment tab, which is along the top, you'll see a drop down box and the second one says open campus event. If you click on that, the uh, page will load and if you scroll down, you will see that it um, has all of the different times that are available, first of all, for our Lowestoft campus, and then it goes on to Great Yarmouth campus. So all the times are listed there. If you click on that link, it will take you through to an Eventbrite page where you can book your ticket. It's completely free to do. Um, it won't ask you for any payment details or anything like that. You just fill out um, your information, how many tickets you want, and then you will just get an email sent straight back to you, confirming that you've booked in, and then we'll get an, uh, an, an alert our end as well so we, we can make a note of it, and then that's all booked in. So hopefully that helps. If you're still having trouble with um, booking onto our open campus event, then um, feel free to email me directly. You can email marketing at eastcoast.ac.uk and if you have any trouble, I can help you there. Um, okay, so we've got two questions left. So what is the best course to take to get into nursing? Okay, so um, the best course really to take to get into nursing if you're a 16 to 18 year old um, is, is health and social care. However, if you are 18 or 19 or, or, or over, um, we also have a wide range of access courses um, that Kerry was talking about previously that will help you get into nursing. But uh, health, health and social care or access courses are the best route. Great, thank you. And our final course, do any of your courses lead to being an officer in the army? Holly, that's probably one for you again, is it? <laughs> wow. Um, well, I think that's one route, but it's certainly not the only route. So as I said before, it's really would be a good idea to, to come in and, and speak to the, the team who are specialists in that, in that field and can give you probably better advice than I could. Yeah. <laughs> Great. 
Okay, so that's the end of our questions. Thank you so much um, for everyone who's attended. We hope you found that useful. As we said, tonight was all about giving you an overview of um, the college, college life, the courses and routes that we offer. Um, so you can start really thinking about it. Um, we, you should have seen, hopefully by now, a copy of our prospectuses if you're, if you're at school locally. Um, these have been dropped out uh, in, the, in the last couple of weeks for all our local high schools. So um, hopefully you, you've seen a copy of that and um, all of the course information and all the other information about college life is available in there. Um, Follow us on our social media if you want to keep up to date with um, all our all the news, um, any course details, for other events, that kind of thing. Um, and on screen as well, you've got our here to help email. So here to help at eastcoastalac.uk. Any questions you've got, if anything comes to mind after this, then please feel free to get in touch. A telephone number on screen as well, and our website. And obviously, all those contact details can be found on our website as well. So. Uh, don't get a chance to note this down, they're all there. So um, thanks again for you all um, attending this evening. We're really pleased to have so many of you with us and uh, we hope that we'll hopefully we'll see you at some point soon. Thanks a lot. Bye. -bye. Bye.